Hey guys, previously I made a video about Battlefield 1 and uh, gaming it with the Intel integrated graphics. If you haven't checked out the video yet, just check out this link on screen right now and you'll find out more. Recently, a YouTuber by the name of Matab asked me on what my opinion is on this integrated GPU and I thought to myself is, you know what, the screen was showing 30 FPS but it felt like a 20 5 FPS game and I wouldn't recommend it because it's not really gameable and uh, you know what helping guys in the forums in Battlefield it made me remember one setting I forgot to explore when I first made the video it is called the resolution skill I'm gonna talk more a little bit about that here but you can find the settings in the video advanced menu right there so the map I've chosen is the Aguni Forest. Uh, I find that this map is a little bit more intense in pushing the hardware uh, in terms of CPU utilization and GPU utilization. Um, running on integrated graphics, for some reason the GPU isn't working as hard. Uh, don't forget integrated graphics is part of the CPU. So when you're running integrated graphics, it's like a separate component um, that is running inside the CPU. So my screen resolution is 720p and that's not going to change throughout this whole uh, video. So resolution scaling is, think about it as re rendering resolution. So if I set it at 50%, uh, my graphics card is going to produce 50% worth of pixel compared to 720p. Uh, however, it will still display on screen as a 720 resolution. However, the graphics card as I say is going to render half the amount of pixels. So setting it lower, of course, in a sense, you're lowering your resolution. And as you see in this map here, the frame rates is uh, under, I would say, not enjoyable at all. Uh, I find the gameplay is very stuttery and it's not even close to being smooth or playable. I really consider this not playable. It's like 20 frames per second. like. What's showing on screen right now is just ridiculous. Um, and then if you have uh, some intense fight scenes, actually it might go down a little bit lower than 20 FPS. So as I say, this is not enjoyable. So let's go into the menu and tweak those settings so we can find a higher FPS setting uh, for the resolution scale. All right, so the first number that came to mind is, well, 75%. Um, and of course, resolution on screen is still 720p, but your graphics card is rendering 75% uh, worth of pixels compared to 720p. <clears throat> At 75% resolution scale, I definitely notice a huge improvement in FPS and uh, usually the frame rates bounce or I should say stay around the range of 27 to 35 FPS. And uh, yeah, definitely this has uh, you know entered the game into the playable state. And the problem with integrated graphics is any intense graphic scenes like such as a lot of physics going on, like a lot of your teammates are fighting, a lot of smoke and fire, uh, that's where your uh, integrated graphics will suffer the most. You're probably thinking like, wow, this is great news, I can play that on my integrated graphics. And you're probably wondering, so what is the lowest resolution scale you can play at? Well, it is 25%. And then suddenly you will get buttery smooth 60 frames per second in your gameplay. Uh, however, as you can see, sending it 25%, everything is like huge big blocks of pixels. Uh, you can probably even count like, individual pixels on the screen here. Imagine like if you're playing in a big open battlefield and someone's sniping at you, you could barely see anything. Uh, you know what? You probably even wouldn't see the pixel at all. You're getting sniped by an invisible pixel somewhere. So as you can see, yeah, you know what? Good. At close range, you can definitely see um, a lot of, um, you can see where the enemy is approximately, like a little figure just running around in little pixels there. Uh, but then when it comes to a long distance, moderate or long distance combat, it is not playable at all whatsoever. So though it's very good frame rates, however, quality goes down and I would consider that it kind of, you know, cancels out the benefits to it. So it, wouldn't, it would not be gameable anymore with uh, such a low picture quality. So that made me think, why not to set it to 50%? Maybe that would be a perfect balance. So 
I got it back to 50 and got back into the game and felt a huge sigh of relief. Like now I can actually see objects and uh, you know can identify uh, enemy a little bit better with 50% resolution skill. I enjoyed it. I mean the frame rates was pretty enjoyable and uh, you get to see some pretty cool frame rates. The lowest I've seen on this setting is about 38 FPS, uh, but most of the time I'll say the average would be about 45 frames per second. I truly felt that this frame rate is enjoyable now uh, in this game. However, after about 10 minutes of gaming in this resolution scale, uh, I find that I still crave for a better resolution than what's uh, available at 50%. So that makes me kind of want to find a nice little balance between 50 and 75%. Uh, so I thought to myself, hmm, maybe 60% would be ideal. So let me go back to the screen here and uh, tweak it out a little bit. Obviously with these new settings, your FPS is going to go down a little bit. I think the lowest I've seen is around 30 FPS uh, and average frame rates, it's about 40 frames per second. So this is a um, you know, gameable frame rate and the visual quality I find that is much more usable and actually at this setting I find that it's a good balance for me uh, for visual quality and frame rates to play Battlefield 1 in a multiplayer settings. Guys, at the end of the day, you know what, you might like more frame rates, you might like more visual quality, you just have to play around with the resolution scale to find the right settings that works best for you. Leave a like on this video if you find this helpful in playing your Battlefield 1 on your integrated graphics card. And thanks for watching, have yourself a great one.